were sure I would do well in film. For they had heard of the breast cancer self-examination <laughs> film I made when first I came to New York. They must have researched very well, for they actually had in their possession the very film that I thought only you and I and Gertie knew existed. This film, they said, convinced them I was, oh, what was their phrase? Oh, yes, magic on you. <laughs> they so liked it, they said, that they had bought all existing copies and the negative. This film, they said, would make an excellent gift for the opening night on Broadway. All this was mine if I successfully recited that alphabetical list which similar gentlemen in similar suits had last week had me recite so evenly, so carefully, so many times. You were tired. I remember you were tired. You came in last week. And talked in my sleep, yes. So what exactly do you have to do? I look to Gertie, the architect of my career, for her advice. She made her mouth quite small, nodded once quickly, looking at her hands. There was an air of tension in the room. Suspense, I suppose. I thought of their offering, all its surprising generosity. You deserve it, You deserve all of it. And so, looking at Gertie, rather than at the gentleman, I began to recite that alphabetical list. Like so many of my other vocal assignments, it consisted of a string of separate words, which I was asked to recite pleasingly, neutrally, without emphasis or expression. My assumption was that it would be cut apart and assembled into a message important to my client, important to be kept secret from me and presumably others. One knows only the words. A, abate, abort, activate, activated, after, alarm, all, attention, B, in, before, blink, blue, both, briefing, catastrophe, climactic, crisis, critical, crucial, destruct, emergency, excess, first, Flashing, from, grave, have, heat, hot, if, immediate, indicate, jettison, key, keys, level, levers, light, light, lit, local, master, mechanism, must, national, neutralize, normal, not, off, on, personnel, position, priority, <coughs> proper, radiation, red, repeat, rises, second, secret, security, self, shelter, simultaneously, situation, state, steam, steps, sudden, switch, two, third, top, Turn, turned, twice, urban, vector, violence, war, warn, warned, warning, warns, which, will, win, world, worse, worsen, worst. They smiled. They thanked me. They seemed excited. Gertie seemed relieved. The second gentleman said, I knew that you were what we were looking for. Gertie sat beside me on the long, late, circuitous ride to or around New York in the beige limousine with the black windows clutching her purse. I suppose we should listen to the messages on the machine.
Love, are you there? Love, please pick up if you're there. It's two in the afternoon already. What are you doing so long? I'll call again. Love, it's three. Where are you, love? Love, it's four. Has anything happened to love? I'm going to be very late. I'll call again. Love, it's after six. Where are you? Love? 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 Love, are you there? Are they keeping you late, too? I'll try again. Evelyn, Gertie here, sweetie. We've just parted, but I just want to bring and thank you again for being such a sweetie and cooperating so hard with those sweet men. I just, well, I appreciate it. I always appreciate you know that. Well, thank you, girl. It meant a lot to me, sweetie. What you did, I'm sure you all know. Thanks. Thanks again. Brad, love, are you there? The line is busy. See you at home. Message for Ms. Evelyn Carter. We'll be talking to your agent, Ms. Carter, but I wanted to thank you for being so cooperative and helpful to us today. Congratulations. You have a great future. Love, love, I swear to God, there's an agent to you.
reason for a city to be here. It's been pulled out from under us like a magician pulling a tablecloth out from under crystal. New York is like the ancient ruin of a temple to a dead religion, rotting under a jungle crawling with apes. It exists now only through tradition, legend, faith, force, fraud. Its inhabitants survive only through charity or illusion. When a civilization is useless, its inhabitants must be beggars or thieves. I will now play back your messages. You have one message. Uh, pardon the hell out of me, but I consider it something of a professional call. Let go of each other. I just got a message. By Carl Cullen in the bean, no less. Virtually commissioning me to write a serious Broadway drama on a topic of my choice with a juicy lead role for a blonde with great legs and outstanding vocal variety. Hmm, topic of my choice. Does that mean I can write about something remotely related to human reality? What is this? Call me quick. Good things don't happen. Leave a message. I'll be out having my brain liposuction. I will say your message. Well, at least we did something good for Chester.